Hello guys. Welcome back to CW Creations. I'm Arjun here. Today we are going to see how to create this cool animation. I created this animation using physics. So without any further ado let's get started. Select all and press X to delete it. Press Shift plus A and add a circle. And rotate it 90 degrees in X axis. Press G and move it 3 meters in X axis. Press S and reduce the scale to 0.3 meters. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the circle. And press G and move it 1.5 meters in X axis. Now select both the circles and press Ctrl plus J to make them as a single object. We have to set the origin of the circle to the world origin. So go to Object, Set Origin, and select Origin to 3D Cursor. Now let's add a screw modifier to the circle and set the axis to Y. And increase the steps as you want. Set the screw to 10 meters. And also iterations to 10. Now our slide is ready. Now let's add our ball. Press Shift plus A and add a UV sphere. Right click and shade smooth it. Press G and position the ball at the starting end of the slide. Now let's convert our circle to mesh, so select the slide, go to object, convert to, and select mesh. Now let's add physics to our objects. Go to the physics tab, and add a rigid body to our slide. Set the type to passive, and set the shape to mesh. Now select the ball and also add a rigid body to it. Set the shape to sphere. And give it a mass of 0.4 kilograms. I'm going to set it as a 200 frame animation. Now go to scene properties and in Rigid Body World set the speed to 3. Hit Space and Play. It works. But the ball is going out of the slide because both the pipes are in the same level and there is no support for the ball to stay inside. We need to fix that. So select the slide and go to Edit Mode. Select a vertex from the outer pipe and click L to select the linked vertices. By moving the outer pipe slightly up will give a support to the ball to stay on track. In my case, it's 0.4 meters, so press G and move it 0.4 meters in Z axis. Now let's play it. Problem solved. Now let's add a vent for the ball. Press Shift plus A and add a cylinder. And place it where the ball is in the first frame. We don't need these cylinder caps. So delete it. Right click and shade smooth the cylinder. We need to fill the slide holes. Select the outer edge and press F to fill it in. Now let's play our animation. 
perfect. Now let's add our camera, press shift plus A and add a camera. Press 0 to go to camera view. Press N. View and select lock camera to view dot and set the camera at the right position. Go to camera option and set the focal length to 95 millimeters. Don't forget to uncheck lock camera to view option. Our background is kinda empty. So let's add some walls to it. For that add a cube. Scale it up to cover our entire scene. And delete the unwanted faces. Select the edges. and press Ctrl plus B to bevel it up. Scroll the mouse wheel to add more vertices. Now let's begin the lighting part. I'm using area lights with a power of 300 watts. Press Shift plus D to duplicate it. I'm just duplicating and placing the lights until I get a good lighting in the scene. Now let's add a HDRI to our scene to pop some realism. Go to the world setting, click the circle in the color, and select environment texture. Now click open and select your HDRI. You can download HDRIs from HDRI Haven for free. I'm setting the strength to 0.4. Now let's add materials to our scene. Go to the Materials tab and click New, and I'm giving a metallic material to the slider. Set the metallic to 1, and roughness to around 0.1. For the tube, I'm giving a bright blue color. And for the wall, let's go for a bright red color. And also for the ball, I'm making it as a metallic blue. Now let's play our animation. Perfect. Now let's render it out. Go to the render settings, and I'm setting the render samples to 200. Turn on ambient occlusion, screen space reflections. Volumetric shadows. And in color management I'm setting it as medium high contrast. And in output tab. Select a location. Change the format to FFmpeg video. And in encoding set it to MPEG4. and select perceptually lossless in output quality. And that's it, go to render, and click render animation. So if you like this video please leave a like, share your thoughts and comments, and don't forget to subscribe CW Creations. This is Arjun signing off.